there's not a way you can crouch or anything or pet. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Oh wait, can we do something that way? Can I get a better look? No, that didn't work. No. Yeah, it doesn't really work too well, does it? That's all right. Uh, talk to the Baron, read the beast here, or about botchlings. Probably do that after talking to the Baron, is that right? No, cursed ones. Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying not particular tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Lambert, Witcher of the Wolf School. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a Witcher will ever have to dis have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a partially decayed Their uniform f flesh twisted with, with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. So, cursed oil and axie. I don't have cursed oil yet. How can I make cursed oil? Uh, where are our oils on here? No, this is craft. Oils. That's an enhanced beast oil. Oh, so we can make that even better. But I need to learn cursed oil. So talk to the Baron. Let's see. That's he's just back at his place, right? Yeah. All right, we're heading back to the Baron. anything down there it's probably gonna be his henchmen are the guards there you go it's plowing pouring again <laughs> can you do that <laughs> Probably should grab Roach. But it's not terribly far, and we can use this stuff. This is where we first came across those guys. Yeah, we're just headed right up there. Let's see what other ingredients we can collect. What did he say? What did girl say that? Oh, is that on fire? Oh. This is always unsettling to see. It's on fire. Let me take. I just want to take a quick screenshot. Just be a second. All right. That, that is where the Baron's at, right? And that was not on fire before, was it? <laughs> way to dive. Way, way, to, way to take the dive.
Yeah, because that's the broken one. That's the broken bridge. There's a the good bridge. Uh, why are you running? Yeah, that was not on fire before, but people don't seem to care. Now they do. All right, maybe they do. Let's get up to the Baron. I mean, these guys don't seem to care. His own henchmen don't care. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? In that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! All right, how are we getting into here? Looks like rain. Do I really want to be looting right now? Um. the guy can't do anything there can I get through here wait what was that oh I, I heard the guy talking, but I didn't. I didn't see. I couldn't see where he was. Hopefully, we saved him also. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? It's an odd time to bring Don't that up. For a fool, you'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Oh. Are we gonna... We're gonna, nerve. we're gonna fight the Baron? They ran through, didn't they? Lying prick! Oh, backhand for the win. We need to talk. Oh, he's beat up.
Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. Why does he think and that? Anna, that's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never mm. darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other. She knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Huh, it's interesting. So obviously this is the most pragmatic. Um, that's probably true. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I, we tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and a pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Well, dude, why are you lying to us this whole time? We could have saved a lot of time. If you truly want them back, you gotta be telling us the truth. Tomorrow present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. 
I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Man, that's tough. Well, we need to know where he where he put the child. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh... hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Oh. Do not want to know what that shovel is going to be used for, potentially used for. But man, this got sad quick. A bit further. Follow me. And I just realized I forgot to do that side quest after the pillar. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl.
Oh. Look. Is that it? Before we know it, you keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Did I do that right? Pick it up. Take it in your arms. We need the lubricant to help track them down. Good merciful gods. Fortress. What? This? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. Oh, I did it backwards. I did it backwards. We need it. Oh, darn it. I think I got to work. The story was hitting me, man, and I was. When that choice came up, I was not prepared. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? We we have specter oil. second <laughs> oh I need to kind of get reset here What are supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to do? I don't... Yeah, I don't want to attack you. What am I supposed to do? Use the Axie sign. Oh, I, I saw that too late. I saw it too late. Uh, that does not look pretty. Um, I do not have the right oil, so that's not going to help. Um,
I need Axie. Yeah, I know. We screwed up. Well, I screwed up. Literally I, not Geralt. Not Geralt. I did. Not even doing any damage to it. I didn't do any damage to it at all. Hmm. I know I do not have the oil. I do not have a cursed oil. Um, I tried Axie. Wonder where this is going to load up. I did not look over to the right where it said to use Axie. I, I saw it when it was too late. Although if you think about it, it doesn't make sense.